Hello and welcome! My name is Bolas. Today we are looking at a game that I played with Point Loon. And the, the preludes here are alright. I'm not getting one of the really good preludes, but these two are okay. One of the preludes actually had an earth tag, so I kind of had to take that one. Um, so uh, this is like a replay of a game I played a while back. And uh, I'm gonna try to talk quick because I already cut this down to one hour. Uh, so <laughs> games, games is going very quick. I'm already stressed. So. Uh, the two preludes there, pretty alright, it gives me some extra cards. I wasn't that happy with my starting hand, so uh, I kind of gambled and took some extra cards and it definitely paid off. Right here I'm getting sponsored. Also an earth tag, very nice. Business network, also an earth tag. And then I'm getting uh, one of the really good cards, Smart University. I really like it. Oh my god, I top deck uh, Earth Catapult as well. It's very good. But the Marsh University is one of the cards I really favor in these long uh, two-player games because it just uh, you can rotate so many cards and uh, especially with Point Luna it kind of adds up right because Point Luna draws a lot of cards which means I'm going to get a lot of science tags which means I could get a lot of value from Marsh University. And interestingly I also kept Herbivores in my starting hand. I know this is a card that can give me a lot of points later on in the game but it is... yeah. <laughs> It is a little bit greedy to uh, to keep it this early on, um, but I felt I could get away with it. Iron Mining Industries, obviously, perfect at, at this point. Titanium Mine, also great. I mean, this is a high-scoring game, so obviously I'm gonna have a love. Uh, I'm gonna be very lucky. Uh, I'm already, I'm happy. I get Earth Catapult, and I get uh, a lot of stuff. So uh, this guy, uh, or girl, I guess, uh, I I'm very awkward when it comes to making people on the internet like me. So I, I, I don't know what to, to respond to, to a person like this, but yeah. So I remember there is a choice here. Uh, I could have gone for uh, IO Mining Industries before playing Earth Catapult, but I think I calculated and the Earth Catapult plus the one Titanium production would be just a slightly better, but there is a case to be made to actually play IO Mining Industries before you play Earth Catapult, because Earth Catapult is also uh, very expensive. So already we are in Generation 3. Um, I hope you guys can uh, can still keep up. I, I feel like I had to cut this down because uh, in the end this replay is still gonna be like one hour long which is probably uh, long enough in and of itself so <laughs> but uh, to give you some context um, this is a game where both players both me and the other guy had an hour to play which is uh, it was de desperately needed I think because um, I'm, I'm ending up spending most of my time and the thing is when you go for this greedy card strategy an hour is not a long time so uh, but uh, here this card basically is uh, to uh, make a credit production and a placement bonus but I can get a card with it actually I get two cards because it has an earth tag and then I I place it uh, on the uh, Acrinius moons, I guess, which also uh, gives me a card, so uh, very nice. And then here I'm just uh, playing Hackers. Pretty, it's only generation three, so I think uh, it's definitely worth getting the two. And uh, make a credit production, even though I, I end up losing a point on it. Then I top deck Miranda Resort, obviously also perfect. I already like played a lot of Earth Techs, maybe uh, I think four or something. We can actually see now. I go from 3 to 9. Okay, I played 6 Earth Tags. Yeah, that's perfect. And now I think this generation, uh, I'm probably looking to, to play Iron Manning Industries. This card's in my hand for so long and it's juicy. I want to I wanna play it. So Electro Catapult, also a great card for engine building. And we're still in the early game, so engine building is definitely what I'm thinking about here. Engine building and cards, and then I know that I have a great engine, so I'm also looking at... Oh, here, do the math, right? So it's 26 plus 12, it's 38. Really want to play Iron Mining Industry, so I'm not going to buy this card. It's a... Uh, it's a lot of... Yeah, look at this, I'm spending all my resources. So this is the reason I'm not buying this card. Otherwise, this uh, card rover construction is actually fine. Huh. But... Uh... <laughs> it's so fast! When I'm, when I'm playing this game, I remember being stressed, but when I'm, I'm casting it afterwards, after I actually cropped down to one hour, holy shit, this is fast. There's gonna be a lot of actions in a row, especially later on, so 
I hope uh, I hope you can keep up. I have a hard time doing it. So Cartel is obviously godlike. You can buy up to four cards. Are we not playing drafting? I guess we're not playing drafting. Mm, I think I joined the game this time. Normally I play drafting, but this time I think I joined the game. So, uh... No. What? What happened? Oh, okay. I did buy them. I just... Okay. <laughs> I'm already confusing myself. But uh, apparently I did buy three cards here. I just uh, it, it, I just cut the video, so it looked like I only bought one, which uh, I, I was just about to flame myself, but this is actually fine. So this card here, I think I'm at the point where I just want cards in my hand, uh, because I know that I have a, a perfect game here, or at least a really good start. So I know that, that uh, at this point I think I'll just keep most of the cards I see, just because I plan on playing Mars University. And then I actually need bad cards to cycle here. So the card I just bought is probably the one I'm gonna cycle here. I'm guessing. Yeah, let this piece of trash. <laughs> like, it's uh, it can be okay later, but we are nowhere near 6% and it's not really an impactful card. So it's a perfect card to just throw away to get a new card with Mars University. Um, so you know you're having a really good game when you're actually just buying cards just so you have bad cards to cycle. Then you know you're golden. So uh, indentured workers, I think, is still early enough that I would prefer this one. If I had a lot of energy, energy production, I would take the one to the right. But yeah, at this point, I, I definitely know that the five uh, gold I get from indentured workers is definitely worth it. Um, I actually, uh, um, if you're wondering what my opponent is doing, uh, it's it's gonna be on the screen for just the briefest moment sometimes. I, I tried to include this, but uh, obviously mostly we're here to see this uh, this big score. And this, yeah, Cartel, right? <laughs> cartel seems good. <laughs> How much gold? Uh, seven. Seven. Okay, it's pretty good. I couldn't maybe... Uh, th there's an argument to be made that I should have played the technology demonstration before I played Cartel. Yeah, now I'm playing it, it's not good. It's actually... I should have played that before because I could have top decked uh, another wrist tag, right? So... A bit a bit of a misplay right there. But uh, when it comes to high scores and Terraforming Mars, uh, I, I, I don't really care about high scores. And uh, the funny thing is I actually wrote in the in the Terraforming Mars Facebook group, I just wrote, well, does anybody even keep track of scores? Is, uh, is it even a thing? Does anyone have a spreadsheet? And I think the general concession, concession nobody gives a shit. <laughs> nobody really cares about how to score. And uh, I, to be honest, I don't really care either. Right here, I just keep bad cards once again, because I, I want to cycle and be with Mars University. Um, so uh, I, th I just thought that I would still include this one because the score is so high. Um, it's probably the highest score you'll see, um, at, at least on YouTube. The thing is, uh, this Mars app only comes with uh, Prelude and Vanilla, so it's it's really hard to get big scores. Normally, if you play with colonies and stuff, it's a bit easier to achieve the really high scores. Um, but uh, so I thought I should include this because this episode is where we look at like the greedy card strategy and this is like this is the dream scenario for the greedy card strategy so you notice I already I have a huge amount of cards I have 16 cards and I have just a great engine and if you like I talked about when you have both card draw and engine this is where you can can really go insane and every time you hit 200 plus in terraformer mass it is with this greedy card strategy uh, at least that's the vast majority. You could technically do it like with a city strat if you're golden, but like it's it's hard to differentiate, right? Because even in that case, you can make an argument that you still had to have a lot of good cards. You still did the card strategy to some extent when you're hitting these big scores. Yeah, the point I'm trying to make: the big scores are usually the card strategy. So medical lab is probably a card I'm thinking about right now. Looks tasty. I haven't played my catapult yet. I guess uh, I'm really lacking this uh, energy production, and the other available place I had was were really good. So, but this is also fine. I can start uh, right now. We're hitting the mid game, so I'm I'm fine beginning to to get some plant production going. I think plant production is really strong, but I think you should do it right here, here in the mid game. Especially because I have one of the amplifiers in my hand. I have the nitrogen-rich asteroid, I believe it's called. 
Yeah, this one. So when I have this card, obviously it's also very good to, to start playing plain tags. I'm wondering if I have three right now. Yeah, so I'm buying probably the last one as well, Search for Life. Yeah, I'm buying all four. Usually when I have this good of a game, I just buy all four. So I have something to cycle with. It's but this is like the, the definition of the card strategy. You, you, you're being really greedy, you're creating a huge engine, you're like keeping most of the cards you see, and somehow you end up playing all of it and it's gonna be uh, resulting in like a lot of points. So I'm definitely also thinking about the milestones at this point. I see that uh, already uh, the, the card milestone has been claimed. I believe by me it would make sense, I have so many cards. So I don't want to take them too early, like I also talked about, but right now, at this point, this is uh, about the time where I really want to look at the milestones. <laughs> yeah, discarding flooding. Makes sense. At this point, my hand is so good that, like, like a card like Plantation, I just I have herbivores in my hand, so so the, I know that this is gonna end up giving me a lot of points. So mineral deposit, and what am I doing with this? Uh, I could be just buying a. Hmm. I'm actually playing this card. I guess I must have played decomposers or something. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I see. I played the other card, the card that makes uh, plant uh, attacks e cheaper. Okay, that makes sense. Because in this case I can just keep collecting microbes on this card and it will make my plant text cheaper to play. So that, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, finally I'm getting <laughs> some energy production and I'm sure that I'm looking at the catapult because I really want to get this down. Why on earth? Okay, because I have plants of course. Yeah, so I can use the plants to power my catapult. Yeah, that makes sense. I was still thinking, why am I spending all my steel? But I have a ton of plants, so it's not a problem. So I'm okay with terraforming the heat. I'm, I'm predicting that it's probably not gonna heat be heat. That's like uh, the last terra parameter to close. So I'm probably aiming to, to, to take a 14 generation game here because uh, I know that I have so much stuff going for me and an ultra late game I'm just gonna make a ton of points. Okay, plantation. I guess I needed the last plant tech. Otherwise it's not that good. Oh, this is interesting. I actually, like, I don't have a city on the map yet. So this plantation looks really ugly. But I think at this point we're still early enough in the game that I have to play it, right? Because I need to play this nitrogen rich asteroid. Now I have seven plant production. Definitely worth it. But the thing is, I don't really just want to play a city for 25 just so I could get that plus one point. Uh, I mean, it, it's uh, at this point the the VP is not the important part of it. So I think it makes sense to just uh, make this uh, ugly greenery in the middle of nowhere because I need the plant tag and it gives me a little bit of resources right there. Now I'm stealing his plan, his uh, energy production, and medical lab probably on the cards. And yeah, I played my catapult. So um, yeah, we're vibing. I don't even know. Okay, I go for Zeppelin. That makes sense. Yeah, I have plenty of mega credit production, and nobody's really building cities in this game. So getting rid of Zeppelin definitely makes sense. Yeah. This search for life card, I don't know, man. It's uh, even it's so cheap and has a science tag, so this is why this card is good. But uh, if it didn't have a science tag, and even it, after you have played, I, I sometimes feel bad about even going for <laughs> the search for life because the the you pay one one mega credit all the time, and and usually you're never getting it. Like it's there are not a lot of micro cards in this in this uh, game, especially vanilla. So it's. Uh, Alright, so I did get the plan, and now I'm looking at the rest, and uh, even though I could claim one here, I'm actually gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until my opponent is close to claiming a milestone, um, because it's a little bit more efficient this way. 
So uh, now I have a fine opportunity to play City here. I, I did get all my engine down, so at this point I think it's an okay time to start building cities. I, I need to have one sooner or later, right, because I have 7 plant production. So preferably, see, I, I could even have drawn a card first to see if that was a city card. Maybe that would have been better, but... To be honest, this uh, placement bonus of the city was pretty good. It was next to water, and then I can get this greenery down with one steel and four gold for water, so... It's a pretty nice place for a city, so maybe I just wanted to, to get the placement bonus as soon as possible. Immigration shuttles... Um, seems like an idea. Uh, it's uh, it's not a great card at this point, but it seems like the best engine building card I really have. Um, so I could still be considering this. The reason it's not the best card is like the 5 mega credit production is not like so great in generation 8 and nobody's really building cities, but I think I figured I had a ton of titanium, so I probably still wanna wanna buy it just for this reason. And also, um, I'm thinking I have the dream game, so sooner or later I'm probably gonna build a bunch of cities. Yeah, natural preserve, I just want this uh, while I can, because it has a maximum 4 oxygen requirement. Heat traps, heat traps. Fuck heat traps, okay, this one. Hmm. Well, well, okay. Hmm. I'm wondering why I wanted heat trappers over this card. There's an argument to be made that when you want a long game, you can play heat trappers just to to decrease enemy heat production a little bit, and this way the game is going to be a little longer. But uh, in this case, the heat is probably going to be the first parameter to close, so I don't know why I'm keeping heat trappers. But I'm guessing that uh, sooner or later I'm probably going to cycle heat travels as well, so it probably doesn't make a difference. Oh, advanced allies. Holy hell. I got advanced allies. Yeah, there we go. Let's go. Advanced allies, and I still haven't spent my 6 titanium by this point. Very nice. That great. Um, I think I... I don't like this card, but I have the composers in my hand, and this card can probably end up giving him one point, so it's okay in this case. <laughs> oh man, I hate Tardigrade so much. So, um, yeah, herb herbivores. Uh, I need eight oxygen to get herbivores. A bit awkward. I think it was mistaken earlier. I said I said that the plant tax would help me because I have herbivores. Uh, I think that's a mistake. Herbivores is actually the card where you get the VP when you put down greeneries. You get half an animal or half a point per animal when you put down greeneries. So I'm wondering if I'm also going to get ecological zone in this game. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just keeping everything. Like it's it's not uh, the cards are not the, that great, but um, I need cards to cycle. Um, so uh, it's uh, pretty amazing that this guy hasn't claimed any milestones yet. Now he's even starting this generation, but it seems like he's not uh, he's not uh, playing for any of them. Okay, I'm 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 now uh, seeing that he has two greeneries. And I'm now I'm also checking. I'm checking is it close to anything else, and he's not. So, but he did have two greenery put down, so he could make one more greenery and take uh, get a point. So uh, that's why I'm I'm now claiming the Gardner milestone. AI Central. It's a little bit late, but it's still great. Error break the Mori asteroid. <laughs> get rid of it. No. Uh, to be fair, Lava Flows is not good at, at this point as well. I mean, I could actually spend use Lava Flows to get the uh, water bonus, so... Uh, I don't know. May, may, I think my reason is probably I have so much Titanium and Advanced Allies, so maybe, maybe this is one of the few games where I actually play 
error break them on the asteroid, but hard to say. Yeah, and you're gonna see, like, even though the first generations were so fast, because I'm playing this super greedy, with all the cards I can get, huge engine, super greedy card strategy, like, the last few generations is gonna be insane. It's, 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 I'm gonna have so many actions, so... So we're far from over. This whole replay, after I cropped it down, is <laughs> still one hour or so. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now I'm finally playing it. It makes sense. I mean, if I am gonna play it sooner or later, I might as well do it now because it gives me five mega credit production. It's not, it's not nothing. It's just not as great. Callisto Panel Mine, kind of the same thing. <laughs> it's like I kind of want to play it because it has at least three mega credit production, but it doesn't really. It's not the greatest, but. I also play. I also want to play this card at some point because I'm going for Jovians. Basically, when you're having the god game like this, you, you're kind of going for everything. I'm going for Jovians. I'm going for CD synergy. I'm going for plan production. I just want all of it because I can. The only strategy I'm not really using here would be the terraforming strategy where I, where I try to close the game. I'm actually going to do the opposite. I'm going to try to 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 um, well, not not really drag it out, but I'm not really. Uh, trying to terraform too much, especially the oxygen. Um, I'm still gonna use my plants because I don't think I have protected habitat, but uh, in any case, if the game goes to 14, I'm happy. If it goes to 13, I'm happy. At this point, I have no doubt in my mind that I'm gonna win the game, so... <laughs> Alright, satellites. Still a bit late, but very good card. How many uh, space tags do I have, I wonder? I have seven, yeah, satellite is definitely worth it. So for, for six plus three for the cards, so for nine mega credits I can get seven, at least seven, because I can even draw more cards, right? And now I'm claiming the last milestone because he's close. Oh, actually he, he left at this point, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna... That's pretty much it. The awards, uh, I feel like there's probably no awards here that that I need to start right now. I'm probably golden in, in like most of them. Get the card. Yeah, there you go. So I did get the bonus even though I sold the the volcano card, what's it called? Lava flows. So it's alright. Oh, and now I got the other one. I really like this combo, Olympus Conference. It's very late. It would be like insane if I had this uh, card earlier in the game. But the the combo with Olympus Conference and Mars University, this is actually really strong. I think uh, it's just it's so much value from science tax. And uh, especially if you if you're like a nerd like me and I've played a lot of terraforming Mars, it's uh, very valuable to be able to cycle cards and be able to to draw cards because you can get a lot of value from them. So, um, Mars University is just uh, when it comes to draw cards, it's definitely one of the best ones I think. Sure, you can have games where you literally get no science text and then it's it's not good, of course, but. In most games, especially in two-player games, my Olympus Conference, I mean, is just insane. Like, just this card, Trans-Neptune Probe. Now it's only two mega credit, and I can... And I can get so much value just because it has a science tag, right? So... This card I just played, basically is uh, two mega credit production. So it doesn't really do much, but it was so cheap that I might as well. And also it has an earth tag. Earth tags also work on event with my cooperation point Luna, so I am gonna draw, draw a card with when I play event with earth tags, so it's good. I'm wondering if this game is like progressing too fast. I'm wondering if, if I should have <laughs> like just uh, taken my time and make a replay analysis that's like three hours long, but 
I don't know, no, nobody has time for that, right? So It's probably also the only replay worth noting that's gonna be this long because uh, all the other replays I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show too many of these god game games like one one is probably enough So if, if you're curious uh, I've had uh, Scores close to this one. This is the high score on the app in real life uh, my high score is higher, but once again, who cares? It's, it's so many different things when it comes to high scores. It's like, it's both, if you're in the two-player game, you're gonna score higher. If you have more expansions available, you're gonna score higher. If your opponent is bad, you're gonna score higher. If the, if the game is dragging out, so, so you have to make like a high score list that's like 10 generation, 11, 12, 13, 14. And on top of that, you have to take into account number of players and everything. So, so many different factors. So this is the reason why nobody cares. Oh, Ecological Zone, there we go. Yay! Now I can get even more points for my plant attacks. Very nice. Right here, what's on my mind is definitely the, the bonus. The temperature bonus on the oxygen scale. I kinda want that. And then maybe starting with the first award is on my mind. Um, this might be... I think my biggest mistake in this game, I make a few, I may have missed, but I make a few mistakes. One of the mistakes is not starting all three uh, awards sooner. I think I was uh, I was a little bit pressed for time, a little bit stressing because I had so many actions I had to make. But uh, And also I just, I just assumed that I would win all of them automatically, I just assumed that I would uh, crush uh, my opponent in, in every single uh, award, so there was no need to actually start anything. But if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is a game where he at some point started minor, which really annoyed me because he ended up winning that. And uh, it's not the end of the world, honestly. It's it's not like I just. Um, but but the reason why it it was actually important in this case is is because I believe I'm gonna pass um, the last generation while I actually have like maybe 30 gold or something 30 mega credits I couldn't spend on anything <laughs> because the map was filled and I, I don't have access to Venus scale and stuff like this so so sometimes it happens you just you literally have an excess of money in the last generation you can't spend. So when this is the case, I should have recognized that uh, this guy was was could compete with me in the minor, and I should have I should have just started all three of them. But uh, it is what it is. And to be fair, if I win three milestones and two awards out of three, it's probably still fine, right? Ooh, colonize the training camp. Do I have? Do I have a card so I can play this? Because I need like uh, one of the cards that can enable me to play this card. I wonder if I've played that. It has a science tag so it would make sense that I played this. You know the science card that, that make it... Oh, there we go. Adaption technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, this is one of the few cases where adaptive technology actually comes up clutch. Like. I think I already would play this card because I have so many, so much science synergy, but normally this is not a good card. But in this particular case, it allows me to play Colin as a training camp, so of course it's pretty nice. So it's a bit greedy. I'm not taking the bonus, even though I could, because I wanted to, to play my Colin as a training camp first, but now I should definitely take the bonus, right? That's what I have to do here. Yeah. Okay, I see. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, I remember. So uh, I uh, I kind of want to take the bonus, even now they have them, and I'm casting and like bonus, take the bonus, take the bonus. But actually, I I just I just uh, it's hard to say if I messed up actually because I just uh, cheated myself from a point. Herbie boss would have given me plus one point if I played that before these two, obviously, because I have adapted technology. This is why I could have played it now. I think this is what I missed, that I could have played uh, herbivores before this, because in my mind herbivores is just 8 oxygen requirement, but I just didn't realize that I just played adaptive technology so I could play before. But it actually ends up being okay, I think, because what happens is that uh, I think I have the... Uh, 
I'm probably, if I don't have it already, I'm gonna pick up uh, Protected Habitats and then I'm gonna actually, I believe it's the case that I'm gonna wait a long time before playing this card, Herbivores. Which means that I now have a lot more uh, Mega Credit to spend on, on a bit more engine and on other, other nice things. So even though I missed one VP here, I think it's like, it kind of evens out in the end because I'm, I'm just gonna be very greedy from now on. And I'm gonna hold on to my plants because I have protected habitat because I want the game to drag out to go to 14 generations. I have a, I just have an unspoken rule with myself that I, I, I will never allow a game to go to 15 generations. It's like, a, <laughs> it's a, it's a bit too much. It's, uh, it's, it's a, you should, you, yeah, it, it's hard to explain. It's just like if you do this, then you are deliberately just not closing the game, right? So on 14 generations, you should be able to to do everything you want to do in a game. And also worth noting, at this point, I, I've I've noticed that my opponent is not in the game anymore. I think if if my opponent were in the game, I might not have dragged the game out intentionally. Maybe I don't know. It's hard to say. It may some might consider it to be in a little bit of a bad spirit to drag it out just to get a big score, even though it's completely obvious that I'm winning at this point. But since I'm playing against an AI, because the guy left, then fine, whatever. Immigrant city? Isn't it time for this? Because I want to... Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, that's a good place for city. So, uh, obviously my production is quite insane. It's not the it's not the biggest ever, but 45 mega credit, six titanium and level plant. Obviously, it's very good. Um, so the thing is that uh, all of my cards, I'm gonna I only have 13 cards now, and it's it's gonna be pretty quick for me to play my entire hand at this point. So uh, I think this is why I'm, I'm really looking at the map now. I think my plan is to just fill out the entire map. And uh, if you're getting close to 300 in, in like this... Uh, not close to 300, but if you're getting uh, like this, like like 270 something score, I've gotten a few times, uh, then obviously you just need to milk the entire game for all the points to get a score like this basically. You need the entire map, you need a, a bunch of synergy in your hands, you need all the point amplifiers. So in this case, I don't think I got all the Jovian amplifiers, but I don't even think it's like about that. What I am getting, for example, is right here, Vile Enhancer is going to give me a lot. Oh, am I stealing from myself? No, he has livestock. Okay, easy. I think I went for the fish because it makes more sense to me that the bear eats fish. I can picture this in my head. Sometimes it's very awkward for me when I play uh, in real life and, I, and there's a Venus expansion and then there's like this uh, card Venusian animals and then the bear actually has to to be on Mars, be a bear and then he's like putting on his uh, uh, spacesuit then he's going to trip to Venus then he's taking off his uh, spacesuit and then he's actually gonna eat a Venusian animal Oh, that was tasty. And then he's gonna go back in his spaceship and go back to Mars again. And this is very awkward to me. I, I don't I don't understand how this is logic, but uh, that's how Mars works. But in this case, it's very very cool. The the bear eats a fish. I think this is very plausible. Um, so yeah, I only have eight cards left. So I'm wondering, should I just close the game? Should I spend my plans? Just well, I'm like, nah, screw it. Let's have some fun. Ooh, Kugula City. Definitely a card I want to play at this point because uh, why am I even what? I think I think I really should play this card, right? Because I want to play. Oh here, here. Oh Miner, Miner. You didn't see it. You actually behind the Miner. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, but the rest of them I'm winning. I just assumed that I was gonna win all of them, so I didn't start anything. It's very greedy of me. But uh, definitely a mistake. And then I made a few other mistakes in this game. I just can't. I guess the herbivore mistake was. You could argue it's a mistake. I mean, you could also argue it wasn't a mistake because if my opponent had been good, maybe he'd taken the, the bonus instead of me. And then. It's hard to say. 
But the biggest one, the one I feel most salty about is not winning all the awards. <laughs> so Coppola City seems good. Definitely won cities at this point. Yeah. The two tiles I'm looking at here, I think makes the most sense. Um, it's like, you want, when you're creating your empire, you want this kind of pattern, if that makes sense. This pattern where the greeneries can can hit two of your cities and two of the uh, the next city you're making. So, so you can put two greeneries behind your two cities, if that makes sense. This kind of pattern you see here, this is like the, the maximum way to get points. If you have the entire map for yourself, that is. But. Yeah. <laughs> Asteroid. <laughs> nah. Okay, so uh, I think I'm done actually picking up bad cards because I think I have enough bad cards in my hand to cycle with. So I am I am no longer picking up dead cards just so I can cycle. This is, this is done. Oh, there we go. I have ants, so I'm putting microbes on ants. But is this a game where I didn't do that for a long time? Where I just uh, put it on decompose? I think it is. Decompose of 23. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I missed like two points here or something. Uh, not, not right now, but earlier in the game, I think I missed a couple of points because I put uh, <laughs> extra microbes on decomposers instead of ants. In my head, they, they just both gave the same. Maybe I didn't remember I had ants or something. But uh, ants, is, ants gives point per two microbes and decomposers gives point per three microbes. So definitely I should have just like pumped up my ants instead. So uh, a small mistake there. At least early in the game. Now I think I noticed, so from this point on I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on ends. So But yeah, look at all this stuff I have, man. This is what I mean. It's not even about the Jovian amplifiers, it's about all of this green tech synergy. Like insane. Of course Jovian amplifiers are also very nice in a game like this. Um, I think maybe I'm getting three out of four, or maybe only two out of four. I can't remember. But yeah, look at this. 36 plants in my hand. Yeah, I definitely... I, I don't remember seeing myself uh, actually play it, but, but I'm not keeping 36 plants in my hand if I don't have a protected habitat. So, uh, oh, okay. This land claim is ki kind of cool. No, sometimes you can use land claim to actually annoy the other guy and stuff like this. Put it in the middle of his empire. But this is actually, if I do say so myself, a pretty clever land claim because this makes it a hundred percent sure that I'm gonna put a city there, right? Because normally if you put a land claim and like, oh, I want to put a city there, then the other guy is just gonna put a city right next to the land claim. But in this game, case, that's impossible because there are no valid spots right next to the land claim to put a city. So this means that I have a pretty good shot of getting this city. Um, so uh, very clever land claim. Good job, Bonus. Select a card to discard. Black Polar Dust. I hate this card. It's never good. But uh, it does give water. Yeah, strip mine. Whatever. <laughs> I think strip mine makes sense because I have 36 plants in my hand. So <laughs> why would I? I'm probably gonna get the points. I also have greenhouses. I have so many plants. It's uh, and once again, I think I only do this because my my opponent is like left the game and there's a hard air. Uh, I don't feel bad about about uh, griefing a hard AI by not closing the game. It's okay. <clears throat> yeah, black polar dust. Get rid of it. I remember it came like as a surprise to me that I actually had so much gold left at the end. I believe this goes to 14 generations. So when that is the case, um, I'm, I'm feeling very bad about not starting all the awards. I might as well have done that. But I still have. Uh, the thing is, I have seven production in my in the in the minor right. And the uh, I don't know. I just haven't checked my opponent, but apparently he ends up getting getting even more than me in the minor. So very annoying. Imported nitrogen. 
This card is so insane when I have a god game like this. One, I can get a lot of discount, discount. so this card is very good in the late game when I have a lot of discount. And then I have ants and I have uh, some animals that gives one point. I know that of Predator, for example. And also it has an earth tag, so it also draws me a card in the late game. So a large convoy, important nitrogen, great cards to have. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I don't even care if I get the water on the large convoy. It would be nice if I did, but it's not even the, the point of this card. The point is to just get a bunch of points in the late game. I could actually play it now. It's not bad. I have seven titanium. Um, but maybe I'm, I'm afraid to actually terraform because I want the game to go to 14. Not sure. So this is what I mean. I could have played herbivores uh, before and it would probably have been better, but then if he had taken the bonus I would have been sad anyway. But at the same time, not playing it uh, like three generations ago, it's like 10 mega credit I instead use on other things, so it's it's the one point I'm missing, it, it's almost worth it. If, if you know what I mean. Hmm. I'm thinking about getting the plant. What did I just play? Oh, this one. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, of course, in this case, I take the plant. Uh, uh, I think I'm just making uh, a microbe on this card, just so I, my ants have something to eat. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Robotic Workforce... Uh, I, 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 have I had this for a long time? Because I wanted to play this with Medical Lab, right? Okay, I'm doing it now, but shouldn't I have done this some time ago? Oh, maybe I just picked it up. But yeah, this is insane. This is one of the... It's actually the combo in, in, in Vanilla Mask because I don't have access to cards like Europolis and stuff like this. So Medical Lab, Robotic Workforce, such a strong combo in Vanilla. It's really, really good. Soul Station makes sense. I mean, it makes sense if I get more than 6 mega credit from my opponent, so it actually depends how many attacks he has. Or if the game goes to 14, then it would have been, it would be 12 mega credit I get from my opponent if he has uh, 6. Yeah, this also makes a lot of sense. So I'm looking a lot at a lot of these cards and like, oh man, I wish I had those sooner. But, you know, you can't have everything. Oh no! No, this, is, is this a bug? I should be able to play it with only one, right? I have advanced allies game. Hmm. Insects. Another card I wish I had sooner would have been very good for me. But at the same time, I think there is a point, just like heat, at some point you can't use it anymore, there's also a point where plants, at some point, you can't actually use it anymore if the map gets filled up. It doesn't happen very often, but in a god game like this, it's entirely reasonable that it will happen, especially if I let it go to, to 14. I mean, look at this, I have 60 plants, 20 plant production, and 60 plants, and I haven't even played insects yet. Yeah, this, this map is gonna... This is gonna get filled up. Actually, my priority right now, to be honest, should be to get all the good city spots. I, I don't think... Maybe I'm, I'm relaxed a little bit about it because I'm just playing against an AI, but, but okay, I am doing it. Yeah, this is exactly what I need to do right now. I need to get as many of the city placements as I can. That's definitely what I have to do at this point. I, I'm expecting to fill up the map with cities in this generation. At least this is what I should do. Yeah, I am. Okay. Mm, one to the left, I think, yeah. Probably better. Maybe I'm thinking if my opponent does this and stuff, but... Yeah, this makes sense. So now I have all the good... Okay, Dex tree shovel, Jesus. Now I have all the good uh, placement bonuses, but there's still like two more cities I can get. Okay, here we go. Herbivores. It's 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 time that I start spending all my plants, it seems. Oh, did he pass? No, he didn't. Okay. 
I think I'm waiting for him to pass the generation because when he passes the generation, I know that I can. Um, I'm, I'm, I know I know that I wanted to close it at 14. So when he passes, I'm gonna terraform like until there's like one spot left or something, if that makes sense. So it just it just barely goes to 14 generations because then I have getting the maximum out of the terraform rating as well. Uh, power infrastructure could actually give me a little bit in the last generation. Yeah, yeah, aquifer pumping, aquifer pumping, aquifer pumping. Yes, good job, Bonlis. <laughs> Those seals, pepper hands. Yeah, that's, that's probably not a lot of good cards left. But uh, it's also the cards that I discard with my trash search for life cards, right? So there could be some good cards still left in the reshuffle deck. I also don't know what my opponent has discarded, so... But, uh, yeah. It makes sense. I start to terraform the water a little bit, because I, I expect that my opponent is not gonna close the game. I, I could actually play large convoy right now, just to get the last water placement bonus. But uh, I must have a read that my opponent is not gonna just make four greeneries, because if he did that I would be really sad. So I must have a pretty good read that my opponent is not gonna close the game. Because if he could close the game at this point, it would be a bad idea to, to, to make all the, all the aquifer, all the water placements. Okay, ants, 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 yes, good. <laughs> but like this is what I mean this game normally 45 minutes or even half an hour that's that's enough to play a game of terraforming Mars on the app but it's uh, when you're having a god game this is why I, I, I usually queue for one hour games because when you're having a god game like this like 45 minutes is nothing because there's just so many actions. It's not only my actions, I have to wait for the game to do all the animations. Ugh. So... <laughs> I think I am stressing a little bit about the time. It could be... Oh! One more fish for the bear. Nice. Bear is happy. <clears throat> but... I mean... <laughs> search for life. <laughs> I'm not gonna get it, am I? I probably not. <laughs> There's still one more CD I could get, but I'm running out of gold at this point. But then again, I think, has he passed at this point? If he has, then I could just pick up the last CD placement bonus at the start of the next generation, because I know I'm gonna start the next generation, so... That could also be a thing I'm, I'm thinking about. This makes a lot of sense. Just get just get a little bit of extra mega credit. Why not? The heat is closed anyway. Oh, and now my opponent has started the miner. I'm not happy about that. I was too greedy. Great escapement consortium could be an idea. Just to contest him in the miner. But so this one, I... Okay, yeah. <laughs> Normally, this is like, you should watch this uh, tile like as a greenery. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about putting it here, but I'm like, no, no, no. This is gonna be four, next to four cities, of course, it's better. But um, it's, it's, it basically gives you VP. I'm talking about the... Uh, the tile I just played, what's it called? Commercial District, I think. So the kind of gives you VP just like a greenery does, except that it also works on enemy cities. So normally you want to place this uh, tile next to a lot of enemy cities, but but in this case I could place it next to to three of my own cities and an enemy city. So there's there's no places on the map where I could put it next to two enemy cities. So I think this makes sense. I 
I still haven't played insects. <laughs> is it is it the case? Okay, now he's passed. I'm sure of it. No, he's not. Are you passing? Did he pass? Yeah, there we go. Now he's passed. And I'm like, all right, now we can place two greeneries. <laughs> and let it go to 14 generations. Yeah, yeah. And then what I think is gonna happen is it's gonna be an absolute race right now. In the in the next generation, it's gonna be a race to just get as much stuff on the on the map as possible. Like, because I have, I'm gonna have 67 plants next generation. So that's like seven or eight or nine greeneries right there, and I'm gonna have so much gold, so I can place even more. I also have greenhouses, Jesus Christ. So... Do <laughs> what did I just play? I could just sell two cards and still play in six. No, actually I can just... Uh, no, I can't, I can't make a greenery because then the game closes. <laughs> but I can still... I'm selling two cards probably, so I'm getting it. But at this point, I don't know. Can I even place all these greeneries? Not sure, but... Uh, Probably also for the memes. 32 plant production, let's go. <laughs> That's a lot of plants. Technically, CEO's favorite project, I could be picking up media archives or something. Or, no, what's it called? The one that gives you three gold when you play uh, an event. So, that's probably why I haven't played it yet. M media something. Hmm. Can't remember. So yeah, right now, I'm very sad about him starting Miner. <laughs> I'm just checking, I'm like, oh fuck, I, I, I can't get this. Yeah. So Rover Construction, once again a bit greedy. I think I should have recognized that I'm gonna end the game with with too much mega credits, like an excess of mega credits. I'm gonna end the game having like 30 mega credits, so playing stuff like Rover Construction it's not even good at this point. Like the only the only thing I have to do right now is to fill up the map as soon as possible. Anything else is a misplay. Of course, if uh, this is a misplay, why am I doing this? I have a land claim. <laughs> I'm, I'm not seeing the writing on the wall. Uh, like it's 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 desperately important that I fill up the map before my do opponent does. Even though he gives me greeneries, greeneries next to my city doesn't matter. The map is gonna fill up. I have to just spend my 77 plans bonus, please. Fill up the map. I'm starting the last two awards because I don't want to mess up again. But even this is a mistake. This is also a mistake. Getting getting cards like. It's, it shouldn't be a priority right now. This can wait. Fill up the map. <laughs> and also I only have 8 minutes left, so I'm a little bit stressed about time, I think. Am I finally realizing it? It's, uh, it, it took me long enough, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm finally starting to spend it. Probably didn't occur to me that that the map is gonna be completely filled up, but... Oh, this bug, man. <laughs> when you play greeneries too fast, <laughs> you can't do it. <laughs> oh. So now I have to skip a turn, and now my opponent's gonna start filling up and I'm gonna feel bad. Yeah, I'm gonna feel bad about this bug here. But to be fair, uh, I have... Maybe I looked at my opponent, at least I should, but uh, you can also make make a, have an idea of how many greeneries your opponent is actually gonna gonna place. But uh, yeah, looking this back, um, it, it's of course much easier to just uh, point out my mistakes after the fact when I'm not like super stressed for time. But uh, after looking at this after the fact, especially with the knowledge that I'm gonna end up having a lot of mega credit over, yeah, it's the start of this generation should have been to just fill up the planet. Yes. I wasted a bunch of actions doing other things. 
It shouldn't be a priority. This is a priority. <laughs> but to be fair, probably it didn't matter. Like my opponent, sooner or later, he would have probably taken the the, the few placement bonuses he had available to him anyway. So ends ends yes, nice. Okay, so now I can relax a little bit more. Now the... But it's a little bit sad, right? Because I have 32 plant production and nothing to spend it with. So you could argue that the, uh, like, even insects in the last generation, I think it was still, uh, of course, worth it because I have decomposers and ecological zone. And also it ends up saving me a lot of mega credits because I don't have to actually spend my mega credits on greeneries now that I play uh, insects. I just had just enough plants to do it with only plants and not mega credit, but yeah, yeah. Probably I should have taken the GHG, um, the one that makes microbes into heat, but doesn't matter at this point. I cannot fill up tardigrades anyway. Fish. Get a fish. Nice. I don't know, the picture of, of a bear eating a cow, it's just a little bit too brutal for me. I think it makes, it, it makes more sense that he eats a fish. I could be wrong, of course. Physics complex, another card I want. Oh yeah, of course, this is why I haven't played uh, CEO's favorite project yet. I haven't played physics complex. Oh, I see. Yeah, so definitely this is why. So I was wondering why I hadn't played uh, if This is why you, you wait until the last generation before you play cards that only gives you victory point, because they could increase in value somehow. So uh, definitely the right call to not play uh, CEO's favorite project yet, because I could technically pick up what I just picked up. The one that gives me uh, physics complex, the one that gives me uh, two points per science resource so so this is what i i want to combo with the uh, ceo's favorite project playing a a animals here in the last round uh, is fine uh, but this only gives me half an animal but this is still gonna give me one point because i have vile enhancers um so this is definitely where my head is at right now i'm just gonna figure out what gives me point. Uh, normally I would figure out how to spend my money the best, but r at this point I'm realizing, oh shit, I have too much money. That's, uh, <laughs> I've messed up. Yeah, this is like, let's go. 11 Predators. Mars is gonna be a very, very dangerous place to be. Yeah, there we go. Physics complex. <laughs> this miner really annoys me. <laughs> He's gonna have 6 plus 7. How the hell did he get so much? What the? <laughs> yeah. I'm not happy about that. Not happy at all. But the, it, it is what it is. And to be fair, I mean, we, we don't really care about high scores in Terra from us, I don't think. So. It's just me being a little bit annoyed that I could have played better. That's, that's probably what it is. <laughs> Selling my cards. I like this play. Just in case that we are equal, then in, in, in v, when the game is over, if, if we are at the same uh, VP, then it's actually going to be the gold that decides the game. So just in case. <laughs> I'm being ironic, of course. That's, that's like no way fucking in hell I, I lose this game. So I don't know why I sell my cards, but yeah. But I think I'm gonna have like uh, this one, maybe one more, maybe three at the most, when I have these god games. And then I'm gonna. The other games that I'm gonna show you is gonna be uh, where I go for some different strategies. Probably more fun to. to see some of that stuff as well. So, uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope this was uh, okay. <laughs> Even though it's a bit uh, stressed. Bye bye!